Hey, let's start with a very common automation I get asked for all the time. The main concept is just getting data from one place, leads, scraping websites, basically extracting data from documents, and then taking that data using AI when needed to then transform it into something we can enter to the database. In this example, we're gonna take leads from an AI search of the area, find businesses that I should reach out to, and we'll push that into the system, the CRM. ERP, whatever you want. Now, we'll dig into the details. The next video will be really technical. This one's for the, the more business owner type of look at things. All right, let's dig into the software and the interfaces we're gonna be looking at as we build this. All right, let's look at the three pieces we're connecting here. Again, it's so generic that you can drop in anything you're using now for this. We're gonna use Softer for the part of the application that is our CRM. And now Softer is just a really powerful, they use the word power there, so it threw me off, a way to build dashboards, CRMs, just one click templates, you're ready to go. And that's all we did. We take a template down here, I think it's their CRM template, and we're just ready to roll, all right? So this template will have a dashboard with companies and contacts, and we're gonna be pushing data into there. We're then gonna use N8N, this stuff is not like you don't need to, if you're a business owner sure you can hire a developer but at this point what you're going to see is you can build this yourself it won't be hard but it's not impossible it's not learning how to code it's a day of learning versus <laughs> a long time so n8m becomes a way that you can connect some dots so that the mcp is here for the ai to talk to and save data to your software now software probably has one of these coming out soon if not already so it even removes one step and then finally, we're gonna be using the AI system Manus to then find small businesses in the area and start to collect data about them and save them into the MCP, which then saves them into, into our software. So again, we run our Manus AI, we push data into the MCP, and then they show up in software just like that. And we can see one already there and we can look at that and then we'll run one after that. Okay, everything is plugged in. Now in Manus, I had to go into their settings to say connectors and I had to add the MCP. Once that MCP is added, and they have docs on this, you, you could do Gmail, you could do drives, you could do calendars. There's a lot you can do to connect here, but I don't want to get distracted. So now that we've connected those things, I can then ask Manus a question. So I'm gonna say, just to start with, grab some information in the area I'm in and use the MCP we have in place to save that data. So the first time I ran that, so let's close this tab and then go here. There was no companies here. And then when it was done, it made a company related to this area. And I wanna show you, I don't wanna just, I wanna show you the process. I wanna show you how natural this is once you're prompting. So here I just said, hey, just wanna start with one, just start off. And it says, okay, it took its time, does some things, and then finally it comes out the other side saying, this is what I did, this is what I found, and it showed that one contact in there. And I'm like, oh, this is great. But then I say, I added a task system, now I want you to add tasks to people, and so we're gonna run that in a moment, and we'll kick it off again. So here it added a, cons a link to the person, and then I think it did the task, I'm not sure if it did that one yet. We're gonna look in just a moment, because uh, we're going to run it again, uh, but that I haven't run yet, and I haven't added to the UI, so I'm going to add that really quick, and so you can see how quick that is. But So let's run this now for real and watch it all come together, and then we'll run it in the UI. So I'm going to run the prompt, let it think, and then we'll come back and see it all in the UI. All right, so very simply, I'm going to just type for a moment. I'll delete all the typing because it's so boring. Usually I speak into it. I can do that as well, but then it's harder to edit the video. Just throw it in there. Start working with it. Start start using it. Like no one, you're not going to, this is that moment where you as a business owner can own the layer of the desktop moment where you can just chat with the AI, help it push stuff into your systems. Once these things are in place, you can keep going with it to the point where you might not need anyone to build anything anymore. Uh, and the data just starts going into your system. So let's let this cook for a moment and come back and see more data in the system scraped from just a prompt where I said, go find me contacts in my particular towns. And that's it. All right, so if we look here, we can see Manus did its thing. It went down the list and gave us an update. Now at this point, I might wanna fix the prompts, but see, I can control that as the business owner or if you need a developer or builder. I could tell it, hey, I not only want five companies, I want to make sure you always have the right 
format for a phone number or whatever makes sense to me. And then you can see the companies are coming in and then they should have the information I need to contact them. And they should even have a ticket related to them. So at some point I should be able to have my system remind me to go call them and then see who's in charge of that and so forth. So that's it. We did it. We were able to tell the AI system what we want to take that results, put it into our system and see them in our system. So I just want to show that concept really quickly on how to scrape or get data from one place and put it into your system.